I finally couldn't handle the guilt anymore and told him of my two-month affair. I finally realised it doesn't matter if I say to myself, I promise I won't do it again and just pray it goes away. What's happened has happened. I'm a soiled woman. I'm unclean, used dirty and discarded by the man I had my affair with. And now my husband, I thought confessing would help me feel better about myself. But it didn't. Everything is destroyed. He wants nothing to do with me. He wants to get away from me. ASAP, I was prepared to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth, but he didn't want details. There were no tears, no raw talk. Do I deserve nothing but disgust from him? He said, you have destroyed my perception of you forever and ever, and it would have been so much better if he just slapped me. I've been researching various resources on what I should do to help him heal, but he made it sound so irredeemable. Is this really the end update? I told him everything in our conversation yesterday. He still didn't want the details, but I screamed at him to snap out of it. He looked angry, and for a moment, I thought he'd hit me, but he didn't. And listened, it hurt him so bad, I'd never forget the look in his eyes. I don't know how to prove it to him that I love him, or how to earn his trust back. I asked him if he wanted me to leave my job, where I see my, my AP almost daily. He said no because he doesn't care and he doesn't want to be with me anymore. Then he didn't want to talk to me anymore. I told him maybe it would be a good idea to try couples counselling or even individual counselling out for a while before making a decision about us. He said he wasn't interested. I told him I would pursue counselling for myself, that no matter what he decided to do, I would try to get to the core of what was wrong with me. He scoffed at that and said that if I had to spend thousands of dollars of his money to figure that out, he can save me the trouble. He said he knew exactly why I cheated. It's because I thought I could and get away with it. But he's going to make sure I do not. He said if he stayed, he would feel embarrassed knowing that everybody would be talking behind his back. He said I didn't love him and that had I loved him, I wouldn't have brought my AP to sleep on our marital bed when I woke up today. Morning I couldn't find him anywhere. Then I went into our bedroom and found his side of the closet empty. He had moved out with without even telling me I had been sleeping in the guest bedroom since D-Day. So I missed him moving out. He obviously had helped packing and moving since it's more than a one-man job to do it all on the sly. Without telling me how must he loathe me. His phone is unreachable and his brother isn't answering the phone either. I'm not surprised since they've always been tight as thieves. I'm lost. What has he done? What have I done? I need support. Please, I need him to come back. And I would do everything in my power to make everything right. Again, story two, for background. My wayward wife was involved in a long emotional affair turned physical for four months with a co-worker. D-Day was in March. My betrayed spouse contacted other betrayed spouse on D-Day and informed her gave her the details and has been in contact with her a couple more times since then when contact was made from AP to me and to give her other details that came to light that he felt were important. Big important facts, only not things that he felt would only be intentionally hurtful for her to hear comments from AP about her, etc. He felt it was important because we believe that AP is still rug sweeping and trickle truthing about the timeline and other important details. I am in support of this contact husband and I both feel that it is information that she needed to know to make an informed decision yesterday. When I was driving home from work, I noticed a vehicle behind me a couple of blocks from my workplace. It was the same make, model and colour of car that she drives. The vehicle wound up behind me at a stoplight and the driver matched her physical description, but I couldn't be 100% sure it was her because she was wearing sunglasses. And I have only seen her in person a few times. I proceeded to drive home and the car was behind me the entire way. I live in an area that is nowhere near anywhere that she would frequent and take, take an unusual route that zigzags across our town to get there. It got to the point that I was disturbed by this and texted my husband, created some distance and took an alternate route with curving roads until I was confident that they were no longer behind me before heading to my home this morning. I was able to review the security camera footage at work 
and I can clearly see this vehicle waiting in a parking lot across the street for about 15 minutes before I leave work and pulling out as soon as my car drives by, my, my question is how should I handle SL? Respond to this. I know that overall this is a situation that I caused. I know she must feel like she is losing her mind. If the only source of information and truth she has had in this situation is my husband, but she, they need to know that this behaviour has been noticed and cannot continue. I wish this is an isolated incident, but on the other hand, you need to look at it in her point of view as well. That poor woman had, has been robbed of her family, her husband, because of the choices you and her husband made. Knowingly and willingly, it was planned and span over a long period of time for a long time. She has been living a lie. Can you imagine the damage such revelation could do to a person's mentality? Obviously, the woman is in over her head. Affairs have consequences on a lot of people and people can behave in a variety of ways. Obviously, you need to ensure your safety, get your husband to talk her into backing off or, or maybe even get a lawyer to issue a cease and desist. But Op, you've got to realise you created this monster. Good luck. Now for some comments that is really unsettling. I'm sorry you had to deal with that. I would say it should probably be called out and told to stop at that point. It's probably time to go. No contact with other betrayed spouse as well. Y'all have done as much as you can to empower her and it is now threatening to create an issue in your lives. Probably try to get a copy of the security tape and if anything else like this happens, I would say file for a restraining order. I'm sure she isn't the first and won't be the last. BP that becomes unhinged and behave inappropriately towards an AP. You had to have known that this was a possibility that his wife could become unstable after you engage in an affair with her husband. Affairs have consequences for all parties involved. She is in a lot of pain because of the choices you and her husband made you. Two, made the decision to rob her and your husband of their safety from dies or illness in general by kissing and sharing germs, steal their emotional safety and security, crush their self-esteem and rock their world for your own selfish desires. And some people are just more equipped to manage the fallout than others. I hope she went home and thought about her actions and came to the realisation that she needs professional help to navigate her grief. While this was wrong and a bad choice, hopefully it was an isolated incident. I think it's a little unreasonable to expect BPs to only make good choices and behave appropriately when WPS made bad choices and behaved inappropriately. The grace expected should be the grace given if it continues after a conversation, then proceed with legal action as a last resort. Under the circumstances, you ought to consider writing to her and asking her to stop following you. What she is doing could be considered stalking and you may want to contact an attorney if what she is doing is considered stalking. An attorney could send her a letter requesting that she cease and desist what she is doing. Laws vary regarding restraining orders and I would not go that route unless you have no other recourse. A restraining order is a public document and it could put your situation in a spotlight which you probably don't want to happen.